Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedom and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country. In the courtrooms of America, Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedom. Liberty Council takes part in sweeping pro-life legislation that has been passed in Arkansas. I'm Matt Barber, Vice President of Liberty Council Action, and on the phone with me today is Steve Crampton, Vice President of Liberty Council and General Counsel with Liberty Council. Hey, Steve, this is great news out of Arkansas. Uh, Liberty Council uh, counseled uh, legislators as they framed this uh, wonderful piece of legislation. It's the Human Heartbeat Protection Act. It states that when an abortion is performed uh, at or after the 12th week, doctors must test for a fetal heartbeat before an abortion is performed. If a heartbeat is detected, a woman cannot have an abortion except in cases of rape, incest, and if a mother's life in danger. Uh, Steve, this is common sense legislation that cuts through all the propagandist rhetoric of the left. Uh, we're not talking about a non-viable mass of tissue here, are we? Matt, that's exactly right. We're, we're taking the medical and technical advances, bringing them to bear in order to inform the mother of the truth about the life within her. As you know, uh, abortion thrives on deception. They tell them, like you just said, it's just a blob of tissue. The uh, blob doesn't feel anything. There's no heartbeat. Uh, it's just a, uh, a simple medical procedure like the removal of a wart. It's, a, it's just a lie from the pit of hell. And uh, this bill brings, as you note, a common sense understanding and asserts the right of the state to protect life within its borders. So it's a, it's a wonderful advance. Well, and, you know, I, I don't believe that you can punish a child for the crimes of the child's father. But nonetheless, thank you. This, yes. But nonetheless, this bill g goes through extra nor extraordinary uh, uh, extremes really to to ensure that all of the uh, nonsensical arguments that the left will throw out there about the, the mother's health and life being in danger and rape and incest and so forth, it made an exception for rape, incest, and if the mother's life is in danger. So we're talking about if we have a living human being with a uh, detectable heartbeat in, in the state of Arkansas, it is now illegal to go in and dismember that living child who feels pain uh, in, in the state of Arkansas. So this is great news. Now, uh, clearly, Matt, the ACLU, or excuse me, Steve, the ACLU and... Uh, Planned Parenthood and others will challenge this in right. court. We know that going into it, and Liberty Council stands ready to defend this bill to the very end if we need to, don't we? That's exactly right. And uh, as the New York Times uh, in its histrionic uh, reporting on this advance uh, notes, you know, this is the, by far, the most restrictive ban on abortion in the country right now. They quote a... Uh, uh, an attorney from the Center for Reproductive Rights, which is another ACLU clone, saying, quote, it has no chance of surviving a court challenge. Well, we shall see about that. You know, the uh, the courts have, in many respects, been blinded as well for many years here. But the assault on Roe continues. And uh, eventually, hopefully uh, in the very near future, common sense will reign and, and justice will be restored for the unborn. So... We welcome that battle in court and uh, would love to commence uh, as soon as possible. Well, Steve, now, back in, in 1973 when Roe v. Wade was decided, the, the majority in the court rationalized that at the time we didn't really know when, when life began. And since we don't exactly. know when life begins, well, the common sense, you, you err on the side of protecting life if you, if you don't have, you know, Evidence. Amen. But but they erred 
uh, on protecting this phantom notion of, of, of a privacy right that has never existed, the, the, the phantom constitutional right to slaughter your, your unborn child alive. A uh, horrible yeah. decision, obviously, but uh, we, we have gained a great deal of scientific knowledge since that time. There was clearly enough scientific knowledge then to, to know that life begins, human life begins at conception. But now with 4, 4D ultrasound yeah. and so forth, it's beyond any reasonable doubt. So we, so really, uh, Roe v. Wade needs to be overturned and, it, and is ripe to be overturned, isn't it? It's exactly so. And, and so this bill is another great uh, advancement in just taking the legs out from under Roe. As you note, you know, the court pretended to sort of throw up its hands and say, hey, we really don't know when life begins and what's going on in there and so on and so forth. Well, here is un undeniable, indisputable medical evidence when a heartbeat that the abortionist himself must take the tests that demonstrate that the, the baby's heart is beating. You just can't deny that is life. Uh, so whatever you want to say about the first few moments of uh, post-fertilization life, or pre-implantation kind of development and so forth. You know, the histrionics, again, that they go to in uh, the embryology of the matter, by 12 weeks with a beating heart, the formation of that child is really just indisputable. So uh, that big leg of Roe is just gone. And little by little, uh, we are destroying the... the uh, slim read on which Roe stands. And so uh, we are hopeful, not to say confident, but hopeful that this act will represent uh, a, a real breakthrough in the jurisprudence surrounding abortion and the lies that the court has foisted upon us there. Now, Steve, tomorrow we're going to talk about, uh, in, Miss in the state of Mississippi, a personhood initiative that has been refiled there. Uh, we're not right. going to roll over and play dead in Mississippi or anywhere else in the, in the country. But we're talking about an incrementalist approach here that says, you know, let's take it down to where we at least know that life begins. And, exactly. Steve, you, you, know, you know that if you've seen any show in the emergency room, uh, they're, they're trying to measure a heartbeat for, at, at least in part, to determine life and death. If they find a there heartbeat in a, in a patient, they say, we have a heartbeat. The patient's alive. You've all seen... Uh, you know, the flat line with the beeping noise when the heart stops, that means the person is gone. So we know if there's a heartbeat there, we have life. T uh, talk a little bit about this incrementalist approach. Uh, doesn't it work in concert with the personhood and the heartbeat bills that are that are being proposed and passing around the country? Uh, isn't it kind Most of a two-pronged two -pronged approach? Go ahead. That's right. And Matt, I appreciate your, your setting it up that way, because really that's what we're doing. We are humanizing the real victim here. The victim is not the mother who has uh, become impregnated. Uh, yes, you do have the victims of rape and incest, and as you say, there are exceptions here in this bill, which uh, ultimately we would like to see removed. But nonetheless, at the end of the day, the smallest child, the toddler knows, when you hear the heartbeat, there is life. This is not the blob. This is a living human being. And we must take extraordinary measures to protect the lives of those innocent ones among us. So this is one component of really the, the larger personhood uh, advance, as you point out here. And little by little, America is coming alive itself to the, the precious lives among us and the need, the desperate need that we as a society have to protect them in order to preserve civilization itself. How, how can we call ourselves civilized? if we don't protect those innocent ones among us. Well, that's right. Steve, well, only about 30 second, uh, seconds left. Where do, you, where do you see this going in the courts uh, in the near future? Well, we're going to get uh, immediately into uh, the federal district court in Arkansas. I think the real test, uh, at least initially, is going to be at the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals because uh, I think the district court is going to feel duty-bound to enjoin the law. Uh, look for the action to take place at the Court of Appeals. 
Great. Well, thanks, Steve. Look forward to having you on again tomorrow. Folks, at Liberty Council, we stand for life and liberty. You can't have liberty uh, unless you first have life. If your life is taken away, then all of your other freedoms are removed as well. Our founding fathers were uh, divinely inspired when they said that uh, life is among the unalienable rights that our Creator has given us. Go to lc.org, ask for our abortion packet, uh, which is downloadable online, lc.org, or give us a call at 1-800-671-1776. Join the Liberty Council team. It's through your generosity that we are able to take part in getting bills like the uh, Human Heartbeat Protection Act passed in Arkansas. Let's take it nationwide. Go to lc.org or give us a call at Liberty Council, 1-800-671-1776. You have been listening to Faith and Freedom with Liberty Council. We hope that we have motivated you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedom. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email updates. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.